Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video kasi sobrang tagal ko na itong gustong gawin. I figured it would be the perfect time to share this kasi nowadays we work from home and if you're someone who has to do their makeup every day, this is the perfect video for you because I am going to share it with you. My go-to makeup look. Okay, first, before you make makeup, your skin must be prepped. So I already did my skincare and um, I applied primer as well, if you guys like primer. For my foundation, I use the Caroline Oil Control Liquid Makeup in the shade Oriental. <laughs> Beauty vlogger! <laughs> Wait lang. Sorry naman sa... Yan. Okay, ayan siya. Sobrang light lang siya sa skin. And yung finish niya is really close to your natural skin. Don't be intimidated by the whiteness of it. Kasi magbe-blend naman yan later sa skin. There. You see the difference? It's like your skin but more even and better. After a few seconds, ganito na yung finish look niya. Look, it looks so natural and fresh. Dapat pala before, maglagay ka na ng lip balm. Ako, I put petroleum jelly. Um, after ko malagay yung foundation or in my case, liquid makeup, I go on with the brows. Kasi yan yung lagging step na nakakalimutan ko. Kasi to me, it's not so important. Kasi... Thank you, God, na meron ako medyo makapal na brow. So, hindi wow. na ako kailangan magkilay every day. But still, I'd like to show you how I do it. So, I have a soap here. Actually, guys, yung secret ng dyan. So that your brows are in perfect shape. Soap lang or brow soap. Marami to sa Lazada or Shopee. See the difference? Parang ganyan. So this is one of my favorite Caroline products. This is the Wow Brow Liner. Kasi meron siyang two ends. The one with the slant na pencil. So yan siya. And yan. I use this side kasi it's so fine. It's so small. Nakakagawa ako ng fake hair. I just focus on the parts na my spaces. Wala masyadong hairs. And then I just... Do a few strokes like that here and there. So here naman, pinapakapal ko siya konti. So yeah, everyone says that your brows shouldn't look exactly the same. But sorry guys, that's how I like it. Gusto ko super pantay yung brows ko. Kahit na mahirap siyang i-achieve. And then fill in here. Sa spots na kulang ng hair. I'll brush up for a little bit. I'll bring this many pieces. There. So yeah, that's how I do my brows. And then, I move on to the other cream products or liquid products. I have a lot of Caroline products here, guys. So, may mga iba na bago pa. My other one na lagi kong ginagamit is nasa taas. This is in the shade Coral Stick because I like Something coral and something orangey on my skin. I have two beauty blenders. One for the foundation or that, but I just my finger. Ko. So this one, I use this for my other product. So I do that. And then, here. So I use the bottom part, yung hindi ko nilagyan ng product, para hindi masyado bright or pigmented because we just want a natural flush. There, I put some on my chin, other on my nose. But, uh, oh, that's too much. And then, I move on to the contour. I use the Caroline Contour Stick. What I love about the cream products of Caroline is that they're so easy to blend and then you can just use your fingers. I often use my fingers when I'm using these products. Kasi sobrang dali lang. Like, what? Personally, gusto ko super dark yung dito ko. Kasi natatakpan naman ng hair. Kaya parang natural. On my jaw. I 
also put here sa my hairline para dumiit yung, yung face ko. So, parang... And then, um, I also put this on my nose for the nose contour. There. Perfect. And then, since nasa cream product style, usually last talaga lagi yung highlight, but gusto ko isahan na lang yung cream products. So this is the product, Flush Stick. This goes so well with this one. I use this on my cheek. See? Oh my god, ang ganda. So yeah, whenever I have to take pictures, pinapaulinan ko talaga yung skin ko ng ganito kasi I like to be glowing. But, Kunwari, kapag TV or, you know, interview or anywhere that you're moving or parang ganyan-ganyan. Lesser lang para hindi mukhang oily. It looks so cool. Diba? After that, eyes. Yes, of course. Meron akong tip, guys. I use this too for my eyelids. See? It's so nice. Like, I like to add. And then, yeah. and then I put that first, and then next is the the eyeshadow. I use the Play to Slay palette. I use this shade. Ito yung pinaka closest color or tone sa coral. May pagka brown. And then I do that. So gilid. Dito talaga ako lagi ng focus sa eyes. Since meron naman ng color itong flush stick. Dito na lang ako naglalagay. And then. Add ako ng konti para hindi mo wala yung glitter, yung highlighter sa eyes. That is perfect. Ito yung pinaka-exciting part na ituturo ko sa inyo. Because finally, after so many years, um, siguro na-discover ko lang to late last year. Hindi kasi pantay yung eyes ko, guys. This one is smaller. This one is more round. Ito parang pa ganyan. Dati nagtataka talaga ako bakit laging hindi open yung eyes ko or hindi... Alam mo yung maganda tingnan. It's always tired looking, ganyan. It's because mali yung pagkakalagay lagi ng falsies, eyeliner. Yung eyeliner, may, hindi siya may binabagayan. Bagay siya sa lahat. But meron siyang iba't ibang techniques. So, kunwari, this is my favorite eye shape. Gusto kong i-copy to dito. So, before I do my eyeliner, I like to put um, dark color here. I use this color on the palette. Dito talaga nilalagay. There. Para magiging round siya. Kung may favorite eye shape ka lang, gayahin mo siya sa kabila. And then, as is na lang siya, don't put eyeliner na if you want. I still like to put dark shade here, but super, super minimal lang. There. See? Para unti-unti niya nakakopy yung other side. And then I have this angled brush. This is also perfect to create um, wing. Pag wing na, dapat both eyes meron. So, there. Ay na siya. This is also one of my favorite parts. Believe me or not, guys. I only use one lash. Yan yung secret ko and I'm sharing it with you. Pag lashes kasi, meron siyang, parang meron siyang end. So, binibilang ko yan lahat kung ilan. And then, I divide it into two or parang hinahanap ko yung middle part. Para even yung distribution. Oh my god guys, ang lahi ng gunting ko. Once na part ko na sila or once na divide ko na sila, itong side na to, kung nasan yung longer lash, We'll go here and then the other side as well. Yes, guys, half lang yung nilalagyan ko ng lashes. And yan yung lagi kung pinapagawa sa makeup artist ko. I curl it first. Kasi yung lashes naman natin, even though kinurl na natin siya bababayan later. Kasi pag i curl mo siya after you apply the lash, you don't wanna over curl the lashes kasi. I super, super love doing my makeup. Dati meron tayong mentality na mas better yung girls na walang makeup or what. Actually, mas better ang girls when they feel the most confident and pretty. Kung ano man yung gusto nila. Huwag mo i-apply agad kapag meron ka ng lash glue. Patuin mo muna ng konti. You will see the difference later pag lagay ko ng lash dito. See? 
It looks so fresh! Parang simple lang yung eyelashes mo. Hindi masyadong dramatic, but sobrang laki na ng tulong niya. And it's lighter on the eyelids. Hindi masyadong heavy throughout the day. It's so nice. Ito yung minimin ko, guys. Kaya gusto ko, kinakurl ko agad yung lashes ko. Para dito, hindi na natin sobrang i-curl. Kasi ang kailangan lang nito is super, super light curling lang. Ang purpose lang yan is mag-mix yung real lashes mo sa fake lashes. Ayan! And then, di ba sabi ko kanina, tuturo ko sa inyo yung eyeliner. When you do the eyeliner, hindi kailangan pantay yung paglagay mo dito. As I said earlier, gusto ko i-copy to ng shape. So, para ma-copy to, I have to put uh, a thicker eyeliner here para maging round siya. And dito, as is lang. So, dito lang maglalagay just above the eyelashes para mas natural siya. I am not an expert kapag naglalagay ng eyeliner. I still mess up every time. I really go slow. I use this Caroline Graph Ink Liner. I'm not confident sa wing parts. So, dito muna tayo. See? Since rounder ito, konting lagay lang ng eyeliner. Super close na siya sa kung saan yung fold. Actually, yung pinaka-goal ko lang lagi pag eyeliner, makita pa rin yung space before the fold. Ayoko yung na-consume siya ng eyeliner because I don't like that. So, kode lang talaga. So, what I do is dot-dot lang muna and then connect. Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko. I'm still not an expert. So, kapag meron kang ganitong nangyayari, let it dry first. Kasi kapag wet pa siya tapos tinanggal mo, kakalat lang yun. It's gonna be a bigger problem. So, let's move on. The next part is, you guessed it, it's the mascara. This is also one of my favorite products sa Careline. It's called the Skinny Mascara. Look how skinny this is. Oh my god, it looks so good. May nilalagay akong eyeshadow sa bottom so that it's not so top-heavy. So we put this, the darkest shade that you have, but don't use black. Skinny mascara on your lower lash. I move on to the powder. So, hindi ako nagpa-powder all over the face kasi I'd like to maintain that dewy look. This is the Caroline Face Powder in the shade Chestnut. There. And then, let's set our cream contour. For the cheeks naman, so I use fresh tomato ng Caroline. And then finally, we're down to our very last step. The lips. Since naglagay tayo na moisturizer kanina, so let's wipe it off. It will leave you with a very plump and moisturized lip. Itong mga soft suede lipsticks nila, they're so nice. I put Vibe sa lips. There. And then I put Fire on top of it. It's so nice. It's such a nice mix. And I would like to add the shade Mood on top of everything para maging mas neutral siya. Flush stick ulit here to make her look more wet. Here is a nose bridge. And then here is a cupid's bow. And it's a chin. So there you have it! My go-to makeup look. Watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, click thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And follow me on my social media accounts. See you guys in my next video. Bye!